Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are looking at Systems Manager Parameter Store, which is secure hierarchical storage for configuration data management and secrets management. So with Parameter Store, uh, you can store uh, data such as passwords, database strings, license code, and as parameter values, and store configuration data and secure strings in hierarchies and track versions. If that doesn't make sense, it will as we work through this here. And you can encrypt these parameters using KMS. So you can uh, optionally uh, apply encryption, though that doesn't necessarily mean things are encrypted in Parameter Store. So to really understand parameter store, let's go ahead and look at what it takes to create a parameter. So the first thing is the uh, name, and this is the way you group parameters together based on a naming convention. So by using the forward slashes, you're creating hierarchies, and this allows you to fetch uh, parameters at different levels. So if I created a bunch of uh, parameters under the forward slash prod, then when I uh, use the API to do example application forward slash prod, it'll give me all those parameters. So it's an interesting way to organize um, your parameters into groups. And then you get to choose your tier, and we'll talk about that a little bit more shortly here. And then you choose the uh, type. So you could have a string, and that's just a string. You could have a string that is, uh, or string list, which is uh, a comma separated string. You can uh, encrypt your string using KMS, and then you just provide the value. So talking about those tiers, um, there are two tiers. We have standard and advanced. So uh, generally, you're using the standard one, and this is scope based on region. So, so if you never exceed 10,000 parameters, uh, this uh, parameter store is going to be free. But once you over, go over 10,000, you're now using advanced uh, parameters. Um, or if you need to use um, a parameter that has a value higher than 4 kilobytes, you're going to have to use advanced parameter. And if you want to apply parameter policies, you're going to have to use an advanced parameter. Now, uh, a parameter can be applied per uh, or sorry, the advanced tier can be applied per parameter. So you can mix and match these two here. Um, so that is something that's interesting to know. But one thing you do need to know about these advanced parameters is that um, you can convert a standard parameter to an advanced parameter at any time, but you can't revert an advanced parameter to a standard parameter. So it's a one-way process. And the reason for that is because if you were to revert an advanced parameter, you would uh, end up losing data because um, you have an advanced parameter that has eight kilobytes and it just can't go back to four kilobytes. It would end up truncating the data. So that is the reason for that.